The humble roast dinner, a British dietary staple. Now, if you live in the UK, be your family British or not, every Sunday, you are obligated to take part in this meal. Even most pubs host a carvery, which is basically a giant roast dinner for everyone to have together. Now, to give you an idea of how important it is to us Brits, we voted it second on a list of things we love about England, right behind the bacon butty. Now, it seems to be that everyone else's roast dinners always have something wrong with them. But yours is the perfect combination. You can have posh ones, big ones, basic ones, and terrible ones. Either way, it's what you have on your plate that matters. Meat, veg, sides, and sauce. It's four simple parts to the equation, but in each, a complicated variance of choice. Here's what I think. Whoppa! Now firstly, let's look at the meats. Chicken. Now this is number one. 38% of roast dinners on a Sunday are chicken, and that's because it's easy, it's beautiful, it goes with basically everything, and is always welcome. Just please, don't make it dry. Now beef, another prime example of a welcome meat for a roast dinner. You'll tell your mum that you want it pink in the middle, but you know it always comes out drier and greyer than a nun. Lamb, a little bit less welcome because a lot of people cry that it's too fatty, and the majority of the time it's served as a leg, as if that's the only prized part of the whole animal. Turkey, now just like chicken, this is always welcome. A little bit drier, but a bird on the plate you must never hate. Now this one is more for special occasions. Christmas in particular, you can expect the English equivalent of Black Friday, with fights over a frozen one in Tesco's. Pork, pork is fine, I guess. I mean, the crackling can be really nice if you make it right. And with pork also comes sausages. Now these can be alright as a side to your meat, especially if you're abiding to the Christmas staple of a pig in a blanket. Now these little piggies are the holy grail of a Christmas dinner, and you can expect to be sick of people constantly tweeting about how amazing they are, as if it's their first time trying it. Now gammon, I mean don't get me wrong, gammon is nice, a beautiful sweet glazed gammon I would never turn down, but it's not for a roast. If you're having a roast with gammon, you're having exactly that, a roast with gammon. You don't have the right to call it just a roast. And if you're planning on having duck or goose, Turn around and tell your butler that it isn't normal and you want a real roast. And if you want to have fish, fuck off. Now don't forget you can have two meats if you want. A trip to Toby Carvery will show you that you can have that privilege for an extra two pounds. But if you want three meats, calm down. Now what about the veg or vegetables? Now first of all, if you're the kind of maniac who doesn't eat his veg with his roast, you need to go back to school because clearly you're still a little child. Take that dummy out of your mouth and grow up. Now carrots, broccoli, peas, even green beans are all brilliant, all lovely. Carrots, best roasted, I mean this is a roast dinner after all, but as long as you've cooked them right, they're a perfect addition. Asparagus can be okay, I mean it's a bit random, but it would work. Beetroot? I don't know why anyone would want beetroot but more than likely it's your 60 year old weird auntie, so let's let her off this one time. But if she carries on, you might want to have a word. Cauliflower cheese. Now is this a vegetable or a side? I don't know, but it is delicious, and some of you may think it doesn't belong. I mean it's a meal in itself, but if your poor family have been kind enough to slave away making one, you slap a spoon on your plate and you enjoy it, because it works, and you shouldn't disappoint your mother. Parsnips are basically a sweeter potato. Some people love them, some people hate them, but for me, I welcome them. Roasted, of course, and maybe with a nice honey glaze, there's no problem with them on my plate. Cabbage and Brussels sprouts are for wrong ones. Brussels sprouts especially shouldn't be brought out unless it's Christmas, and then you can choose to ignore it, or bear to eat one or two, because you shouldn't disappoint your mother. Now, talking about sides, this can be a real grey area for people. But there's one side we must never forget, and that is... POTATOES! Now first of all, I know it's a vegetable, but it doesn't belong there. This is basically the second most important part of the whole meal behind meat. Every plate needs potatoes, even the vegans have it for God's sake. And one thing I think everyone agrees on is roast potatoes are the perfect side, and they need to be crispy on the outside and soft and fluffy on the inside. Now everyone goes out their way to get a weird tub of goose fat because they saw Gordon Ramsay use it once, and apparently it makes them perfect, but no matter how you make them, the public swear by them, and it won't be a decent roast without some of them on your plate. Now boiled, sweet, or new potatoes don't count. Tell your hippie family that they're not good enough. Some people swear by mash. 
Now, I personally don't see why on earth you'd want mash. You've already got the roast potatoes, but if you're one of the people that still wants mash on your plate, you're also committing to becoming so bloated you turn into that lady from Harry Potter. And to be fair, if they're available, I'll be committing to that too. Yorkshire puddings are always best when made fresh and ridiculously large, but this does require a lot of effort in the kitchen. And if you can't be bothered, then you can always rely on your best friend, Aunt Bessie. But don't have the plate-sized one, because that's pathetic. <coughs> Macaroni and cheese. Now, I wouldn't normally say it's something that should be on a roast, but it is available at Carvery, so I'm obligated to comment on it. Again, this is a lot of effort to cook, as it is a dish on its own. But if someone has slaved the way to make it, it is your obligation to take a spoonful, as you shouldn't disappoint your mother. Beans. Now, seriously. If you have beans with your roast dinner, please, please, just get up, walk to your nearest mirror and take a good, hard look at yourself. You have issues. You need help. I mean, who the fuck thinks that this is acceptable? Do you want some eggs too? Maybe some cheese? I mean, would that make your roast perfect for you? Seriously. Are you truly incapable of shame? Is there literally nothing that can shame you? Now let's finally get onto the sauce. Now it is pretty simple really. Any sauce you'd normally have with a meal, throw it out the window. You need gravy, end of story, a lot of it, and relatively thick too. Gravy granules will do, but if you're posh and you can make your own gravy, then fair play. You're better than I am, well done. Cranberry sauce goes with turkey, mint with lamb, horseradish with your dentures and overcooked beef, and mustard if you're hardcore enough. Barbecue? Oh my God. No! God! Mayo? No! God, please, no! No! Ketchup? No! No! You get the gist. Now that's pretty much it. I mean, anything outside of those choices is probably not even worth a mention, unless I forgot something, which I'm sure you'll remind me of. But you are probably thinking you'd eat most of the things that I've talked about. Well, another tradition we have in this beautiful country is what I like to call pile your plate with as much shit as you can because it's normal to have a ridiculous amount of food on your plate. If there's a carvery, it's part of the terms and conditions. Now, you want to have so much on your plate that the gravy is dripping off the sides. You want to be so full and so bloated that all you can do is sit there in your own filth and rub your belly. And congratulations. I mean, I hope you enjoyed it, you fat bastard. And I'll see you next Sunday because Nan is going to bring a trifle. I hope you know that you made today a very special day by just your being you. There's no one in the whole world like you, and I like you just the way you are. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe. I'm only a small fry on here, and I could do with the support. If you didn't, then whatever. I'll get over it.